Hi there. So today let's discuss about Congo and Rwanda. Basically, the, the, the conflict between these two countries. Now, at the United Nations Security uh, General Assembly, United Nations General Assembly, uh, the president of Congo has requested Rwanda to pull out their troops from that country. Now, as you know, uh, the United Nations Security Council has evidence that Rwanda maintains between 4,000 to 5,000 troops in the eastern part of Congo. These troops fight alongside uh, the group M23. Basically, the M23 is made up of the Rwandan troops. And that is according to the UN Security Council. And now the Congolese president is asking the international community to put pressure on Rwanda. So he wants Rwanda to pull out these troops he has also called for the international community to help him do that so it's the news that is almost now everywhere that congo's president has called for a sanctions against rwanda for supporting them 23 rebels so in the same statement he also called for the sanctions to be placed on rwanda for supporting these rebels that are killing people in congo now you have to understand that it is justified for the president of congo to do that because the same UN, the same UN through their United Nations Security Council have enough evidence to basically back up what he's saying. They are the ones who told us that Rwanda had more than 4,000 troops in the east of Congo. They have drone footage, video footage, pictures. They even have uh, witnesses to back up their case that Rwanda is actually sending more than 4,000 troops to Congo. They are currently in Congo killing people, looting minerals, and doing all manner of things there. And then the same UN doesn't see any need to sanction Rwanda. They would be quick to do that if it was Russia or another country that has sent troops to another white country like Ukraine or European countries. But they don't care... Uh, when it comes to African countries, they, as a matter of fact, will start supporting Rwanda, sending uh, foreign aid to Rwanda, sending money to the Rwandan Defense Force because uh, more than 80% of the budget for the Rwandan defense comes from the United States. You can go and look up for that information that the Rwandan defense is almost fully financed by the United Nations, uh, the, the US, sorry, the United States. Uh, the same goes for Uganda. Ugandan defense is almost entirely financed by the United States. They get their budgets offset by the United States. Uh, so they buy this, all these weapons, guns, trained soldiers, pay soldiers' salaries from the money that the U.S. gives them to maintain their defense. But the same armies are used to go cross over into Congo to loot minerals uh, displace millions of people and commit atrocities which the United Nations Security Council has evidence or has had evidence against for the past 30 years. But they are not doing anything. They are not doing anything about it. And that is the situation. So he went there. According to this story, Congo's President Felix Sekedi calls for sanctions against Rwanda. But definitely, you know, he, he also knows the UN cannot do anything un unless the United States supports it. And the U.S. in this case supports both Rwanda and U uh, Uganda to loot the Congolese minerals and to also send their troops. So that is the situation and that is uh, the whole story about what is happening in Congo today.